Hey everybody, I wanted to share a brilliant little app with you that is much needed for any creative guy on a Windows operating system. There's always been an issue with Adobe's apps that they do not support thumbnails. Uh, for whatever reason, it's never been incorporated into the Windows operating system. I know you can do it on a Mac. I've seen Mac users have this uh, luxury of enjoying thumbnails of EPS and PSD and PDF and all kinds of different Adobe files on their desktops. However, that does not exist for Windows. And so with Windows 7, there's a really cool little app that came out called Sage Thumbs, which I highly recommend. It's a very cool app that I installed during the Windows 7 days and it worked really well. It allows you to make thumbnails of PSD files, EPS files, PDF, whatever it is. Um, an amazing app it even comes with this uh, context menu that allows you to pop out, do conversions, and send files by mail, etc. So, very cool little app. However, this app sort of stopped functioning properly with Windows 8's arrival, and um, it just is glitchy. For example, your tiles on the Windows interface will stop working if you have this installed. It creates some issues, and uh, maybe they have to update their GFL library or something in this app needs to be updated. So as for, I think, Sage Thumbs 2.0, it's not really working as well as it should. Hopefully they'll, they'll bring out a new version sh soon, I'm sure, and we'll be able to install it again. However, there's additional good news. Um, another app that I stumbled onto recently that works flawlessly in Windows 8 is called Mystic Thumbs. By the way, the, uh, the URLs here at the top, code.google.com slash Sage Thumbs. I'll put this in my description below and then mysticcoder.net slash mysticthumbs.html um, is an amazing app too. And um, I have been using this with great success in Windows 8. In fact, I'll show you real quick how it works. You can go to these sites and read more about it and install it. Oh, they do have a trial limit, so you can install it for 30 days apparently. But you're going to want to buy this. So <laughs> Um, I don't work for this company, by the way. I just highly recommend this application. So check it out. If I now go back to my Explorer view, I have these just listed in a detail view right now to show you that typical blue PSD icon you see. Um, I don't actually, it's not very intuitive. This is also the display you typically get if you don't have Mystic Thumbs installed. So it's not very intuitive about what these are, especially if you have different versions of files. It's just great to have a graphic representation. So if I now go to my large icon view, I see the thumbnails the way they should be displayed in my opinion. And this little stamp here in the top right corner, this little watermark you see here resembles Mystic Thumbs logo. And it allows you to do all kinds of cool stuff with the way these thumbnails actually appear in Windows. You can even, for example, this one has some alpha to it and it may disappear on a white background. You can right click on thumbnails. You can also view them and it will actually pop up this art in a separate pop-up window that allows you to look at it in a large view before you even open it up in Photoshop. Very fast viewer. And if I wanted to actually customize this icon, I can actually go into the thumbnail context pop-up and I can change additional options. You know, I can set it to scale up, scale normal, I can pre-multiply the alpha, I can set the default transparency, I can enable all those options. I don't think it works on PNG. But if I go back to, I have another folder open here, by the way, yeah, also works for EPS, brilliantly works for EPS. Um, as you can see here, I have some EPS floating around, I'm sure. There's actually OTF that's showing a preview for OTF files. Let's see, these are all SVG, there's some SVG icons. Uh, let's pop those up larger, you can see SVG, no problem. Um, just trying to find EPS so I can prove my point. Here are some PSDs, and what's nice about the PSDs is if I right-click on this and go to Thumbnail, and let's say shit that the checkerboard, it will actually show me my alpha transparency in the background. It's applied to the, the icons you choose, so you have to actually select the ones you want to choose and then apply the transparency to it. So you can play around with those settings. Up here, I believe I have some Illustrator files. Yeah, there's an Illustrator file that looks perfect. And the same applies to EPS. Um, here's an EPS file that looks perfect. So it's just a really cool way of managing your content and your graphic content very quickly now in Windows 8. Um, I mean, Bridge is an amazing tool. 
I'm not trying to take anything away from Adobe Bridge. It's an amazing app, but this is just great because it's integrated in your experience, which to me has always been a, a downfall a little bit with with Windows. Um, I I gotta be I gotta say I've been always a little jealous of the Apple guys having this like graphic experience with the thumbnails, but now finally it looks like someone was nice enough to create these apps for Windows. So I hope this helped you and um, you find some value in these apps.